We have the 2025 refreshed Honda Odyssey for a long-term loaner. This is our one month update. And this is actually the first vehicle that Cassie, my wife, has been testing here on the channel. So she's, she's gonna be able to give you guys some valuable input in this one month ownership. Again, I'm, I don't own this vehicle. It is a press car, but it is a long-term. So it is kind of like an ownership experience. So we will be sharing that and loading up the kids today, maxing out the capacity of this van to an extent. And so let's get into it. Well, for 2025, it's refreshed, the Honda Odyssey. It is the best-selling retail minivan. What did I get here? This poor moth. You guys will see um, that we washed this thing at the beginning or at the end of the video, but this is, uh, I'm recording this actually after that happened. Regardless, we have the refreshed front end, slightly different grill, slightly different bottom fascia as well. Uh, it's nice that we still have the fog lights on the Honda Odyssey, but I will say that the turn signals, which are right down here, they're still incandescent bulbs. Um, so that's kind of a miss. That would have been great here on this Elite trim, at least to have some upgraded headlights and taillights. We do have some new wheel styles across most of the lineup to my understanding. Uh, this is the Elite trim, which is the ultimate, it's the highest trim you can get on an Odyssey. And uh, we're sitting on 19s here. Do you like this wheel design? I think it's fine. I typically don't like two-tone wheels or machine finish, but these look pretty decent for a minivan, not gonna lie. From the side, well, the Honda Odyssey really hasn't changed much at all over the years. As we come to the back, Tail lights still look good. As you can see, I have the, the lights on right now so you guys can get a better idea. If you guys want me to do a nighttime review so you can see the ambient lighting and the interior lighting as well, as well as how the headlights perform, let me know down below. I'll probably do it regardless. But uh, on the back here, these are incandescent bulbs for the turn signals and brake lights. So I, I'm a little sad about that, but Honda, I'm sure, will step it up when they redesign this van, which who knows when it'll happen. We'll talk more about what I'd like in a redesign in this video today. But this is new for 2025. You see how like sharp edged the corner is here? It's because they put in the reflectors of the NSX. Rest in peace, NSX. You can see the parking sensors in the back here. We'll talk more about that, the Elite trim. We got this black bar that goes across. That might be new for 2025 as well. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about cargo. I never have the third row folded flat. I always have it assembled. You can see I have a kid seat here and two booster seats in there. So we're using this van. I got five kids. So anyways, we'll talk more about that as we get the family in here in a little bit. Um, tons of cargo capacity. Look how deep this goes. It's something that no SUV, regardless of the SUV size, they can't do this. They, for some reason, all SUVs, they have a really high floor and they don't have this magic area here where the seats can fold into um, to stow them away. So you will have a flat floor, floor uh, with the third row folded. Um, and I take the headrest out because what good does a headrest do here as well as with the rear facing seat. So I take some of the headrests out here um, that just don't make any sense um, to have. Anyways, it's great to be able to remove them. Um, it would have been great other than a 12 volt 180 watt max to have an actual plug-in back here um, but we'll talk we'll, we'll see that in the inside I, I believe mm, I want to say this does have a kick sensor but the key is on the inside um, and I've only used it a couple times I want to say the kick sensor is right under here the keys on the inside of the vehicle so I don't have it right now but we'll go ahead and press that to close the kick sensor I have used once or twice um, to close the the hatch there when I have groceries and whatnot. So again, under this lightweight hood here on this Honda Odyssey, one powertrain, front wheel drive, three and a half liter V6, 280 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque, made it to a silky smooth 10 speed automatic built in house from Honda. If I haven't mentioned it's front wheel drive only, well, that's still the case here. There are no other powertrains either. Um, so the competition, you can get all wheel drive, for example, on a Sienna and a Pacifica. Uh, you can get a hybrid on all the competition. The Pacifica is a plug-in hybrid, the Sienna is hybrid only, and now for 2025, uh, the Kia Carnival has a V6 and an optional hybrid system. So Honda, surprisingly, is uh, the only one without a hybrid system here on the Odyssey in the minivan segment. 
here in the United States. It's not stopping Honda from selling well. This is still the best retail minivan sales. If you look at fleet sales included, the, the Pacific outsells it a little bit, but the V6, we'll wait till the driving impressions because it's a fantastic powertrain. So let's go ahead and get on the inside. The only thing about the V6 is, is its fuel economy. We'll talk more about that as we drive it. So we'll get into the front seat here in a little bit. I'm just so used to getting in the front seat. Uh, like I said, we've had this for a month. Unfortunately, Hurricane Milton came, and so we had to load the Husky in here while he was blowing his coat. And I'm sorry if there's a lot of hair in here. We haven't found a vacuum yet that, um, we're gonna need an industrial grade vacuum, I think, to get the Husky hair out of here. But anyways, we have plenty, plenty of time to figure that out. Anyway, let's talk about these seats. Check this out. It can slide back and forth. So for, for Carline, for example, the kids can easily get in and out. You can still have it a traditional style. Now, there's a seat here that I took out that you can see clips right into those hooks. Um, so you, this is an eight seater, but when you have the eight seat, obviously you can't slide uh, via the, the seats around left and right, unfortunately. If we look at the back, we have some USB C's down here, a couple cup holders. This is new for 25 as well. Not the rear seat entertainment, but they made the screen bigger. We're gonna have to do maybe another review with this screen. We haven't used it yet. I'll just end it there. Um, they took out the Blu-ray drive. It's not as functional, but you're just gonna have to hook up your own DVD player or a Nintendo Switch, for example. You also have the cabin watch camera here. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Um, also the rear entertainment here, it gives you a welcome screen. You have to connect something through HDMI, does not include any built-in apps. That's something I think the, uh, the Kia Carnival has, for example. Everything has to be through the HDMI port, for example. Where is the HDMI port? It's located in the inside center console. Plug in the device into the port to use it. So it is kind of hidden. I can't see it from my driving perspective, by the way, I like the armrest. It's tucked in way under here. And so you could feed a cord if you needed something that pulls 150 watts. But uh, if you had like a, um, a Nintendo Switch, that'll plug in through uh, USB-A and USB-C as well. And there's the HDMI port. Hopefully the camera is picking that up okay for you guys. So it's kind of in a hidden location and you could actually hide your DVD player in there quite well if you wanted to. Climate control over there, you notice we don't have vents up top, the vents are here. And so that's kind of a long ways to get to the kids. Uh, ideally, the vent would be like right up here and it'd be blowing on the kids or the rear passengers. So it is what it is. You see the sunshade there, but you also have sunshade in the back. And this is a huge win over something like the Sienna. The Sienna has gotten really cramped on the inside. Um, and the windows in the back have become very, very small where the kids can't even look out the back of a Sienna really anymore. Um, and there are no sunshades on the back of a Sienna on the newest hybrid generation. So really like the big windows back here might as well get in and it's just it's awesome awesome feature to have if the kids don't want the sun on them headphone jack for the the rear entertainment as well as usb c's uh three in total which is great now these vents are a little bit closer to these guys still would have been better if the vents are up here yes absolutely so you can see i mean they, my kids have been living in here i didn't clean out the interior so this is a, a real life review i guess you could say i apologize for the husky hair um in advance and i mean here's the thing you could still fold these seats you could tuck some away um and still have a flat floor if you needed it um and you see this seat right here you could fold this away independently as well so they don't all fold together which is kind of nice now the kids have plenty of leg room in the back and you can still oh gosh mickey mouse ears you can still move the seats forward if you want um but i mean we don't have giants sitting in the back and then it makes it harder for the kids to get into the back seat if you move the seat forward so even with it all the way back the kids still have plenty of room in the back seat the third row i should say mat pockets on each side these are nice in some regard so it's it's great that you can see these at night because this actually lights up um, so you can, the kids can actually see it too. But as a parent, I just want one button. I don't want to have to think about closes on top, opens up on the bottom. Well, I don't ever press open because I'm not from the inside. So that'd be kind of a kid's thing. But regardless, I don't want to like press a button. Oh, I just want one button. I want one button for open and close. And I just don't have that here. It's one or the other. So that's, um, 
I'm sure it has its benefits, but for me, it just makes it overly complicated. Now to open the rear door, um, Toyota, for example, has a kick sensor option, which is really, really cool. If you have kids in your hands, groceries on your hands, I'd like to see Honda implement that with the next generation Odyssey. But um, let's go ahead and cancel that and close it back up. Get into the front seat. So this interior, by the way, this white and black two-tone is new for 2025. We have memory seats here, which is great for me and Cass because we're com I'm a whole foot taller than Cassie. So this has been a game changer for us. When she gets in, she just presses one and it goes to her. And then she likes, she's been so kind that before she gets out, she'll just, pre she'll just press two because it moves the seat back, it's easier for her to get out. And then by the time I'm back in the car, it's already set up for me at, at number two. And you, anyways, uh, we have auto folding mirrors here. Let's go ahead and close that door. Sounds pretty good. The trim might be slightly different in here. I mean, this is all very familiar, um, except a couple things. This is a new seven inch screen here, which is customizable. Um, you can put different information on here. I pretty much keep it at fuel economy once I get back to it there you go um, and we've put about I want to say we've put about a thousand miles on this guy since we've had it for a month um, so we've been driving it as a daily to move the kids around oh, we do a parking sensors here we'll talk more about that uh, when we drive open and close buttons here for the doors we'll talk more about that as well and and how it's in an interesting spot um, we have auto brake hold which I love love auto brake hold because It'll keep the car at a red light without having to put your brake on. So once you come to a stop, it keeps the brake on for you until you press the gas and then you start going. So I love the auto brake hold. That's something Cassie will never use, but for me, it's like a must have. So I really appreciate that. This is a bigger screen for 25 as well. Satellite radio on here, which is great that Honda kept it on here. Um, obviously when the kids are in town or in the car, I am not listening to my hip hop and R&B and rap music or my heavy metal, but um, Cassie really likes uh, the Moonbug radio for baby Abe, which is understandable, but it's great to, to have the easy access to the presets. You have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. I see my phone down here is, uh, is charging. Well, kind of, it's not the greatest uh, because I have this big thick case on here. It's not the wireless charger's fault. So it's just, I have a thick case on there. Sometimes it charges, sometimes it doesn't. You see it just start charging there. Um, ventilated and heated seats. We have a heated steering wheel. In this review, we're not gonna really hit on um, highway driving. We're gonna have to do that at a different uh, time when we go on a road trip. Love all the physical climate control here. Love how it's easy to get to the uh, rear um, settings for the climate control as well. Um, and I just kind of sync the rear to uh, the climate control up here because, well, Abe's not gonna be messing with the screen. You can see rear facing seat. The kids can still crawl in through here, by the way. They're still small enough they can crawl in between if they need to get in from this side, by the way. And the sunshade's been great to keep the sun off Abe. Uh, standard sunroof here, no panel roof. Um, we have sunglass holder as well as kind of like a, a cabin mirror. Um, you guys probably wanna see that cabin watch. Uh, I think it's right here. Um, I've only used it once or twice. I think it's a cool feature. It's you can see my hand reach back there. It's kind of kind of weird, um, but it is something that the kids kind of like to see. They'll watch out of the back seats to see if they're you know they just kind of like watching their their arms flail about and make funny faces on it. Um, yes, I can I can talk to the rear. <laughs> it's like I'm on a tour bus, um, but the microphone. Uh, where is the microphone? microphone I think is right here and so it's listening um, and sending my voice through the speakers I haven't I haven't used this feature yet because well I'm pretty good at yelling to the back seat so I'm kind of old school like that so um, and I could speak specifically to the car speakers or to the headrests if I wanted to isolate my messages but hey my kids hear me no matter what so I mean maybe if you I don't know, have a cold, or, I don't even know. I don't under, let me know if you guys would use the PA system in here to, to talk to your kids, but I'm gonna get out of that. And that's kind of, I mean, you could do cabin talk too, if you didn't, I mean, it's already going. So like cabin watch, cabin watch here, it's the camera, and then you can add the cabin talk on top of it, but you could also just 
go straight to cabin talk and uh, it's a little bit quicker, I guess, if you wanna do it that way. But uh, back to Android Auto here, like I said, it, obviously it is wireless and it's been working um, pretty, pretty handily for me. It does have Apple CarPlay as well. What about the AC? Well, the AC is better in here than it is in the Pilot, if I remember correctly. We haven't really had any issues. We talk more about that in our driving impressions as well. So it would have been great to have this AC power in like behind the third row of seats as well. Um, here you could, well, you can plug this in uh, to a DVD pl player or um, Nintendo Switch or something. And then you also have some more USB-Cs up here and a USB-A. Um, there's also this hidden compartment that goes all the way there. I don't think I've used it yet, but if you needed to hide some belongings, I like this pass-through. This is something that the Sienna got rid of. You have this huge suffocating bridge in the Sienna. And in terms of like ergonomics, space, uh, light coming into the, the van, um, and just breathability, it's way better than the Toyota Sienna. Um, cup holders here, like I said, wireless charger. Um, another storage space here. Like I said, we've been living in here. I, I need to get this receipt. This is a gas receipt. I need to make sure I itemize that. Oh yes, we just have a backup camera here. We don't have a 360 camera. That's something Honda would really benefit from having um, on their top, top trims anyways but at least it is predictive. So as I turn the steering wheel, um, the lines change to let me know where I'm going. But the resolution here isn't, um, I would, I'd give it a passing grade. <laughs> so Honda, you got some work to do on this uh, Cameron system for your large family mover. All right, so there's the tour of the 2025 Honda Odyssey. Let's go ahead and load in uh, my wife, Cassie, get her impressions and load in the kids as well and take the Honda Odyssey refresh for a ride. All right, leaving Sam's Club, we just loaded up with, well, parents got some sushi, so we're excited about that. But the kids <laughs> got all their snacks. We got a bunch of water for the week. And with plenty of room to spare in the trunk, that's always nice. Yeah. Something minivans always afford. Mm -hmm. Even with when you're loaded full of kids, Honda mm -hmm. Odyssey here still gives you tons of cargo space. Really appreciate that. So Cassie's been living with this van for a month now. Yeah, it's been a good month. Yes. Mm -hmm. How, okay, how do you like it compared to our minivan? Okay, I like the tech. It's nice. It tells you when there's cars next to you. And mm -hmm. especially when, like, when you're turning, it's like, don't turn yet. There's a car right there. Mm -hmm. All of that. Yes. I love like the- Like blind spot monitors? Yes, the blind mean? spot yeah. monitors. There you go. I love the backup camera. Okay. It's really cool. I really like knowing that. Oh, I like the sensors around the car. Parking so sensors? So that I know how that's close I can get to things. Oh my gosh, that's such a nice feature. It's really nice, especially when the car, I feel like this van's pretty big. So yes. it, it's really nice like safety feature right. and all of that. And, and then I like the serious radio that it comes with. Okay, so you guys see Blippi <laughs> playing. This has been a game changer for Cass. Yes. Because Abe, Abe, baby Abe's nine months now. He still doesn't sleep well. No. <laughs> but for some reason, he likes, uh, it's called Moonbug Radio, Sirius XM. Yes. So Honda, Honda's been cutting out Sirius XM integration into their cars. So like oh. the new Civic SI I'm driving doesn't have it. <clears throat> the new Honda Accord doesn't have it, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Nor does the like the Acura MD, the refresh Acura MDX. So luckily they kept it on here because yeah. you've it's really- It's been so yes. good for Abe. He sings along with it and it just yeah. keeps him patient because he does not like the car rides. He does not like car rides but and he lets it snow. Yes. But yeah, like but with the it, radio, he seems to be good. He really enjoys the Moonbug radio, mm -hmm. the Blippy, the Coco Melon that plays on it's there. Perfect. So it's been great. It's been really um, nice. Just keep in mind. So our typical van is a 2013 Sienna. It's older. It's older. It has no parking sensors, and the backup camera is maybe three inches big. It's very small. <laughs> it's very small. Oh, um. Also, this one keeps um. What's it called where you have your seat preferences? I like oh, that Oh, memory too. seats, yes. Memory seats. Oh, and ven ventilated seats? We do have ventilated word? seats, which I'm gonna turn on right now. Yeah. Heated and ventilated nice. seats. They are great. Um, I don't remember if we, yeah, we do have a heated steering wheel, which we never use. Yeah, I mean, maybe that one day in Florida when it's very yeah, cold. Yeah, just a few days in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a little loud, so I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> Compared to our van, how this van handles. Oh, it's, it's so nice. 
so this smooth. Thing, it handles like a, a car. It doesn't yes. like it roll doesn't around like a, like a van typically would. Yes. So the, the front end feels really short, yes. which is good for parking, but also when you're maneuvering, it just like dives into the corners. Yes. So it is, I don't, it's in America anyways, it's by far the best handling minivan. I've been, yeah, I've been really enjoy I feel safer. It, it's nice. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's a nice it's been, experience. It's been a very good you, experience. Honda. Yeah. Um, and the only thing that is about carryover is fuel economy oh, compared yeah. to our van. <laughs> Our van gets like 18, this gets like 19. Yeah. Um, on the highway, it gets more, but we haven't we hardly really ever driven highway. on the highway. We yeah. will be taking this to Disney in January. So we'll be giving you guys like an update around then. Mm -hmm. and maybe doing like a road trip review of this. Be fun. Um, because we probably, w I want to use that screen. So mm -hmm. they updated the screen for 2025 in here. Mm -hmm. And so the back screen, they took out the Blu-ray player. So down here used to be the Blu-ray player. Mm. Um, which we've used in, in previous reviews of the Odyssey. Mm -hmm. um, but we're, we've kind of moved away from the DVD players, not because the kids don't like it or that we don't like it. It's just our kids get car sick yes. with the DVDs. Yes. And They're a little sensitive. So mm -hmm. what, what I'd like to do or at least try, the kids are a year older since the last time we took a long road trip. Yeah. So I'd like to, next time we do a road trip, Maybe plug in the Nintendo Switch. Oh, fun! And then they can play their farming simulators. Yeah. I really want to like Disney out our car, like get road trip snacks. Like that's that's the I mean, that's the goal. I mean, it's already been Disneyified <laughs> to some to some extent. Yeah, make it a whole experience. It's like our yearly trip thing, you know. Like, yeah. So this thing's going to be an absolute beast when we take it on on a road trip. And fuel. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the fuel economy to get slightly better on the highway. Yes. Um, Honda, you guys know, I've, already, I've said this for years now, Honda could really benefit from having a hybrid powertrain on their Odyssey and their Pilot, their Ridgeline, their Passport. So mm. it's just not there yet, unfortunately. Hopefully it comes, fingers crossed, hopefully it comes in 2026 when they said new hybrids are coming. Cool. But in the meantime, what is this, other than the fuel economy, what is this V6 like? Well, Cass, what do you think this this engine and this transmission is like? It feels fast. It's fast, um, when it needs like, to be. Yeah. yeah, it's like very like, settle fast i'm like i'm like oh yes. my gosh i'm going i'm going 55. yes well <laughs> right it's it's kind of luxury fast and in some ways if you put an acura badge on this vehicle i wouldn't think twice because mm. it, it drives and rides like a luxury vehicle mm -hmm. um the pedal the gas pedal is pretty doled out mm. so it's like you kind of have to press it but once you wake up the v6 yeah it goes Right. And the engine's pretty quiet overall, even though yes. it's a three and a half liter. So it's definitely quieter, smoother um, experience than our van with the same size of V6, but that has a six speed auto. This is a, uh, mm -hmm. a 10 speed auto, which is really, really smooth. Um, and I, other than fuel economy, I like everything else about this powertrain. Right. Smooth, um, it has a performance mm -hmm. and it's quiet. It's really, mm -hmm. really quiet and really refined. Yeah, it's nice. um, it does have start-stop engine technology, but we're always pumping AC in here. So the end, I feel like the engine's never turning off. How about you? You drive yeah. it more than me. So if I put it up a certain, like, I don't know what, 74 or something, yeah. then it starts and stops. And I, uh, I noticed that by accident um, when you were away in Tokyo and it did that to me one day and I'm like, uh-oh, did I break the car? You, oh, okay. uh, but then I'm like, oh, it's one of those cars. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize. Like, almost every car that's yeah, I had no nowadays idea. has a start-stop feature. and. You can disable it with this button. Oh, see, I didn't but know that. But I honestly, never put it up high enough, really. Right. It's We're always running AC in here. Yeah. It really. Speaking of AC, I would say it's adequate. It's good. But yeah. we haven't had this Not band during the summer. During so the heat I don't of the summer. Know. Exactly. We don't know how well this cools in the hottest, stickiest Florida summers right now. Mm -hmm. But in mild heat, meaning it's 75 to 85, it it gets the job done. I'm not sweating. Like sometimes in our yeah. Toyota, I'm like, I'm, yeah. Oh I'm my gosh, the AC hot. is better in here than our, yeah. our old Toyota <laughs> I'm minivans. I'm a bit warm. No, so no comparison. I haven't been like, yeah. Now there's an econ mode here, but I already feel like the acceleration is pretty doled out with the mm -hmm. pedal. Mm -hmm. So I, I've driven it maybe for one to two minutes on econ mode. I'm like, no. You're just, you just really have to smash the pedal to get anywhere if you're in the econ mode. Oh, okay. And are you really going to get better fuel economy? I don't think so. Right. 
We don't demand too much of our vehicles, I think, when it comes to... Do we drive a lot of vehicles? No, we, we drive do. very conservatively. Yeah. When the kids are in the car, I'm driving... Well, I don't drive as conservative as you, but right. I still don't drive crazy. Right, right, right. The kids don't get car sick when I no. drive. No, you're right. The last time that happened, I was in an Audi S5 Sportback. And oh, my gosh. Maybe maybe I was going too fast. There's a possibility. Last time I... Actually, Gigi did get car sick in this car, oh, but yeah, it's because I moved her toward the That's middle, right. which is a really cool feature. Yeah, the, the the second row slides back and forth. Yes, I love that. It's really nice for yeah. um, car drop-offs, like yes. car line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like loading, it's just kind of nice to have like that extra like landing spot. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, I haven't talked about ride quality. Going through the neighborhood, there's a little bit more bumps and dips. Mm -hmm. It's smooth in here very very smooth very luxury like a long wheelbase helps with that but even loaded up with kids and i would say a couple hundred pounds of supplies in the back it's still really really smooth and comfortable in here you know that one so well man you <laughs> i do on quick membership man <laughs> there it is him, there it is appreciate it <laughs> thank, thank you, you man our car is like really needs it <laughs> our car needs a wash bad so we're going through the car wash it's kind of been through a hurricane. Obviously, it was safe during the hurricane. Oh, yeah. But, like... But it got rained on. It got rained <laughs> on, and there were puddles. So, it is, um, it's in dire need of a car wash. The kids love going through the car wash, by the way. Well, this is our second time. It's only our second time going through the car wash. <laughs> Ever. If I wash the cars, this is terrible. If I wash the cars, I wash them at home, but... We're just economical. This is... <laughs> The kids, it's, it's a family experience. It's, it's an investment for the family. It's an investment. Watch the show, children. Now, it would have been nice. I think we've taken another vehicle in here before that had a panel roof. Oh, yeah. It's something that this van, like Honda, could include with this van. Wow. Out of the car wash but abe's all done so <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the update to the six month time period like i said we're going to be going to disney uh, in january so it's just a couple months from now mm -hmm. um and we'll give you guys kind of like it'll be what a three month ownership time period by that point um the one month has been fantastic so yeah it's oh no our mirror does this have, I'm trying to remember if it has, yes, it, does. it does have auto folding mirrors. There we go. It's going to pop out of though. Oh, there please. it goes. There it goes. You did it. She's back. So yeah, we're just stuck in traffic. So we're going to sign off here. Um, it's been a great van. Lots of space for the kids, lots of space for our belongings. It does everything we, were, we could want. And yeah. we don't have any like, What's crazy is like, we don't have any major annoyances, you know? Well, I mean, the door open close is my ah, only like, there it because is. you almost chopped off your hands one time. I did almost, <laughs> I, I slammed, almost, slammed, not chopped. I almost slammed my hand. Yeah. I'll see if I can recreate it real quick. No way, Jose. Light. So right, oh the, the door open close, this is the only thing that annoys us in the whole car. I can't believe it. Yeah. All right, the door open closed is over here and it's only the driver. Any other minivan I've been in, it's centrally located so the passenger up front can close the doors too and yes. open them as needed, right? Because mm -hmm. they're typically two parents. Or not typically, but- There's usually two people, They're right? typically, yeah. I mean, like you want to have centralized controls. So for the sliding doors, they're all the way over here, right next to the, the crease of the door. So I, what I did was like, I had to close the back doors. And so, you know, I closed, I started closing this door. I let go of it and its momentum was coming in. And I moved my hand over here to start closing the back doors before this door was closed. Yeah. And it smashed my fingers yes. in there. So yeah, that's the only major annoyance, but obviously it's not a deal breaker. No, not a We've deal breaker. We've learned to live adjust. with it. Yeah, yeah. we've learned to live with it. So, um, 
we're going to keep living in this van for the next few months yeah. and keep keep making note of some some the good things and the bad things. That's what it's here for. So, cool. no, we got cold we got food. food. All right, <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you, and uh, thanks, Cass, for sharing your yeah, it's been super fun. Thank valuable you, opinions.